In this video, we'll be discussing about how WHO recommended sanitizer or hand rub is made. And also, we will see its formulation with calculation for different concentration percentages. First is the ethyl alcohol based formulation, or we can say ethanol or simply alcohol based formulation. The second is the isopropyl alcohol based formulation, or simply isopropanol based formulation. Now let's see chemicals in each of the formulation with volume per volume percentage. That is the percentage in the solution. For ethyl alcohol based formulation, the first chemical is the ethanol, 80% in the solution. Second is the glycerol, 1.45% in the solution. Third is the hydrogen peroxide, with 0.125% in the solution. Fourth is the distilled water or sterile water. And when we see the isopropyl based formulation, the first chemical is the isopropyl alcohol with 75% in the solution. And rest of the chemicals are same as in the alcohol based formulation, as you can see in this table. Now let's see how to make the ethyl alcohol formulation with the available reagents. In the final solution, we need ethanol 80%, glycerol 1.45% and hydrogen peroxide as 0.125% in the final solution. And we have the following reagents available. Ethanol as 96%, glycerol 98% and hydrogen peroxide 3% concentrated. These are our reagents from which we have to make the final solution of hand rub or sanitizer. We see final volume required is 1000 ml or 1 liter. Then percentage of chemicals required. For ethanol we need 80%. For glycerol we need 1.45% and for hydrogen peroxide we need 0.125% in the final solution of 1000 ml. Then third important factor is the percentage of chemical we have available. That's ethanol 96%, glycerol 98% and hydrogen peroxide as 3%. Now let's see the calculations. We have formula as final volume required multiplied by percentage of chemical required divided by the percentage of chemical we have. So for alcohol or ethanol, the formula becomes as 1000, the final volume, multiplied by 80, the percentage required, divided by the 96%, that is the percentage concentration of alcohol we have. And from this data, we get 833.33. That means we need 833.33 ml of alcohol for the formulation. And in the same way, if we stick to CDC minimum requirement for sanitizer or hand rub, that's 60% for alcohol based. Then we have to replace the 80% with 60% in the formula and we get 625 ml that time. Then for glycerol the formula is 1000 multiplied by 1.45 the percentage of glycerol we need divided by the 98% the percentage concentration of glycerol we have. And from this equation we get 14.79. That is the amount of glycerol required for the final solution of 1000 ml. Then for hydrogen peroxide, we have 1000 multiplied by 0.125, the percentage of hydrogen peroxide required, divided by the 3, that is the percentage concentration of hydrogen peroxide we have. From this equation, we get 41.66. That is the amount of hydrogen peroxide required for the final solution of 1000 ml. If we sum up the final data, we need ethanol 833.33 ml, we need glycerol 14.79 ml, we need hydrogen peroxide as 41.66 ml and all the three make up a volume of 889.78 ml. And if we remember we are required to get 1000 ml as a final volume of the hand rub solution. So rest of the volume is to be made up by distilled water. That's 110.22 ml of distilled water is added to make the final volume as 1000 ml. And this is our final solution recommended by WHO having 80% alcohol, 1.45% glycerol and 0.125% hydrogen peroxide. And in the same way for isopropyl alcohol based sanitizer, we need to replace the alcohol chemical with isopropyl alcohol. And here we need only 75% isopropyl alcohol in the final solution and rest of the chemicals are same as in ethanol based. And we have isopropyl as 99.8%. So getting to the isopropyl formula, we get 1000 
multiplied by 75 percent that's the percentage of isopropyl we need divided by the 99.8 the concentration percentage of isopropyl we have and we get 751.50 so we need 751.50 ml of isopropyl in the final solution and from the above data we also need glycerol 14.79 ml we need hydrogen peroxide 41.66 ml and this makes up a total of 807.95 ml and to make it 1000 ml that is the final volume we add 192 ml of distilled water and we get the final solution having 75% isopropyl alcohol 1.45% glycerol and 0.125 hydrogen peroxide as recommended by the WHO so these are the formulations that the WHO has recommended for hand rub or sanitizer as a local use I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.